Hello Maxoids, welcome to this video. I'm balance designer Ross Trays, and today we're going to talk about the exciting new content that's available for SimCity, the Airships Pack. In this video, we're going to go over what you get in the pack, then we'll talk about what they do, and finally I'll share some tips and tricks for how you can maximize how you use this awesome pack. In this pack, you get two new parks, the Hot Air Balloon Park, and the Urban Hot Air Balloon Park. In addition, you'll also get a new public transit option, the Airship Hangar. On top of all that, when you buy this pack, you will also see this awesome blimp show up around landmarks and at stadiums during events. Okay, let's talk about these two parks. Both the Hot Air Balloon Park and the Urban Hot Air Balloon Park are large size parks. Both parks increase land value. The Hot Air Balloon Park increases medium wealth land value, and the Urban Hot Air Balloon Park increases high wealth land value. So these parks will entice those medium and high wealth sims to come live right next to them. Once you plop these parks in your city, they'll send up balloons frequently during the day. Your sims will get happy just seeing those wonderful balloons go up. The Airship Hangar comes with a blimp that brings high wealth tourists into your city. Once you place it, the blimp will go and pick up tourists outside your city automatically. The module, Commuter Airship Mooring, comes with a blimp that carries mid-wealth commuters. Even though it's a module from the airship hangar, the Commuter Airship Mooring can be placed a far distance away from the base building. Now we'll go over some tips on how to use these great new buildings. For the balloon parks, these are really ideal for the middle of a neighborhood. Surround these parks with commercial and residential to maximize your sim's happiness. For the airship hangar, this building only carries medium and high wealth tourists, so you want to place it in your wealthy commercial district or near your high-end casinos. The module, commuter airship mooring, is a little different. Since it carries commuting workers and shoppers, you will want to put it near your struggling industry or commercial where those extra workers and shoppers will really make a difference. The really cool thing about these airships is that they can connect you to your other cities or your friend's cities in a new way. The tourists and commuters that come on these ships don't take up precious space on your highway. You can even place a bus stop or a park and ride right by your commuter airship mooring so your sims will use your existing bus systems to get there. This will help traffic inside your city as well as at the border. You can use the commuter airship to connect to a neighbor that isn't connected to you by road. All right, so I've gone over what you get in the airships pack, how the buildings work, and given you some tips on how to use them. Now that you know all about it, get out there and start playing with your new buildings. See you next time, Maxoids. And, as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.